Hello, G-Man. Wasn't sure you'd be able to make it. I stopped off and got us something to celebrate on the way. I, I can't. I gotta go on duty. When you call yourself a detective, it's sparkling cider, Jack. Still, I, I don't know how long I can stay. Just one. Just one drink, please. You have time for one little toast, don't you? Okay. One toast. You do the honors, okay? Cool. Don't even... Oh! <laughs> you no. see? Just like the real thing. <laughs> there you are. Let's, let's toast our future. What? Uh, nothing. No, don't do that, no, what, what do you? What do you want me to say? Whatever you're feeling. I, right here, right now, I know exactly how I'm feeling. And, and it is so good. But when we leave this boathouse, hardly everything changes. The real world comes crashing in. Well, that's where we live, in the real world. Julie's trying so hard. It, it's breaking my heart. And I keep wondering, when it all ends, is, is she really going to be okay? I told you, Jack. She's stronger than you think. And one day we are all going to be exactly where we are supposed to be. She will find somebody else. And you and I will have each other. We'll have it all, Jack. We'll just have to wait just a little bit longer, and then the three of us, you and me and Parker, we will finally be a family. And we will live together in our dream house on that land you bought for us, and we will fill it top to bottom with everything we want and on Winston's dime. Hey, when I think of our life together, we don't need Winston Lowe's money. Oh, you said... I knew it. I knew that that stubborn Snyder pride would show itself. Fine, Jack, you can be the breadwinner, okay? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with treating ourselves once in a while, Jack. Uh, here we go. No more table scraps for Carly Tenney. It's either the brass ring or bust. Well, um, will a gold ring do one day? You bet it will. But for right now, this is enough. This is everything. I'm really sorry about calling your house. No, it's okay. I don't want to make anything harder for you. You didn't. I promise you, I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want us to be together. We will be. We've wasted so much time already, Jack. I don't want to push. The more I'm with you, the more I want. I know the feeling. Good thing I've got a lot to keep me busy. Like figuring out how to spend all that money. Oh, I'm... I'm all over that already. <laughs> First thing tomorrow, I'm going to deliver those papers to Holden. I'm going to pick up my four-legged gold mine and head straight for the auction block. And hopefully I'll make it to the bank and the mall before closing. I love a woman with a plan. <laughs> I want to get you something nice. A new coat, maybe. No, no, better, better. Matching mink coats. It really doesn't go with the uniform. I'll think of something. You always do. I'm freezing, Jack. I'm no mink coat. You'll do just fine. You know, this isn't all about money, you know, Jack. I know. It's about freedom and independence and... Kissing the past goodbye with all of its hurts and stupid mistakes. Fate has finally dealt me something incredible, Jack. 
A horse worth millions in stud fees. That's, that's pretty incredible. No. You. You are incredible, Jack. charge you know as used to happen when we kissed you remember especially in weather like this Prove it by me. Hello. Did I get you at a bad time? Hold on. Well, actually, uh, I, <laughs> I was in, um, hot pursuit of a very dangerous perpetrator. You know about the robbery? What robbery? Today, at the farm, somebody tried to steal flash dance. Flash dance? What happened? Is everybody okay? No. Please, not my horse. You rob a horse exactly. How does somebody get away with something like that? Jack, my entire future is riding on this pony, and you're gonna tell me it's gone? No. It's just no, gone? No, it isn't. It's been impounded. Impounded? Oakdale police took Flash Dance into protective custody. You can breathe easy. Thank you. Thank you, who's ever in charge of horses. It remind me to have a word with your cousin Holden. If anything happened to this horse, if it's injured at all, I'm gonna sue him. Wait, what are you talking about? Holden thinks he owns the horse. Well, then I guess he ought to take better care of it, huh? Who, who did he have watching the horse, Emma? Rose's father, 